The Weed of the Week is brought to you by Mandaco. For lower costs and higher production, Mandaco leads with versatility unmatched. Twister is the vertical tillage unit for no-till as well as conventional tillage. See your Mandaco dealer. Visit northcountrymarketing.biz or call 877-915-8790. Our Weed of the Week is Roundup Ready and Liberty Link Canola. Well, you never know what you're going to have, Brent. When you've got some volunteer canola out there, chances are it's probably Roundup Ready Canola or it's probably Liberty Link Canola. You just don't know what it is. But the problem is, what if it's both? And now let me stack one other thing, Darren, on to this. Let's say it's also Clearfield. So oh, it's nice. Roundup Ready, Liberty Link, <laughs> Clearfield. Well, the reason why we're bringing this up today is you look at all these stacks that are coming in corn and soybeans and cotton, and pretty soon, uh, our plants are going to be resistant to almost every weed killer we have out there, then what are you going to do? So volunteer canola has been showing up in a lot of fields around the country. Uh, birds have brought them in. I mean, they've come in from combines, from tillage equipment. Who knows how they got in there in some cases. But how are you going to stop that volunteer canola? Well, it's tiny little seed brand, so it can certainly spread pretty easily. The, the big thing with volunteer canola is you've got to take two shots at this thing. You don't want to just go out there with one thing and then find out, oh no, it was resistant to whatever I used. Now you've got a big time problem. So you start with a pre. Now we look at broadleaf crops like soybeans, for example. Here's where it's a little difficult to control. So make sure you get a good pre-emerge herbicide out there. Uh, Valor does an excellent job on volunteer canola. Uh, also, Syncor is not too bad. Python, if it's not ALS resistant or Clearfield, <laughs> uh, does a pretty nice job too. Uh, I, I would and lean authority. towards I would lean towards using a combination of two of those products to try and do a nice job. Then post emerge, hopefully it's not Clearfield tolerant because Pursuit and Raptor have been very effective on Roundup Ready canola or Liberty Link canola. Uh, now, if we're ALS tolerant, that's not going to work out so well for you. Then you may have to go with Flexstar. But the problem with Flexstar is it's not labeled as you get into the western part of the United States, so then you're left with Cobra. And the main thing, whatever you're using post-emerge, you've got to control that volunteer canola early. It's much easier to kill when it's two to four inches tall than when it's six to eight or even 12 inches tall. But the problem is a lot of people will go out and they'll just spray their Roundup or they'll just spray their Liberty and realize, uh-oh, I guess we didn't kill that canola. And by that time, it's big. So you've got to put something in real early. And when you do that, you're probably not going to have a lot of problem. Now, one other thing you could do, Darren, in soybeans would be Harmony GT. Yes, it's not great, but I mean, it does have some activity, at least if the uh, volunteer canola is not ALS tolerant. Okay, well in wheat, we don't have as much of a problem controlling volunteer canola because it's a broadleaf plant and we're talking about a grass crop. Uh, and if you use something with some buctrel in, uh, buctrel seems to do fairly well. A lot of guys like to have some 2,4-D in the mix and it does certainly help on canola control. I think it dings the wheat up a little bit, so I would alternate with something else. I'd use husky. Husky's the best thing in wheat. When you turn to corn, the best thing in corn is going to be either Callisto, Laudus, or Impact. Status is pretty good too, but again, make sure you're controlling that volunteer canola when it's small. Well, that's all the time we have for our Weed of the Week, but there's more Ag PhD to come after this.